ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your favorite part of this podcast and your favorite part of the internet in general. It is time for video game themed things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. All right, so uh, first, as always, let's start with the runners up. Uh, here's 10 geeky things that have been decided by the Supreme Court. Uh, number 10, Transformers less than meets the eye. Uh, Hasbro sold Asus uh, or sued Asus because they called their tablets Transformer. No, Transformer um, Prime, I believe. No, well, they had two. They had Transformer, then the next one was Transformer Prime. Um, and it's surprising that they weren't sold but, or sued by. I keep saying sold. They, it's surprising that they won't, weren't sold. Uh, sued. sued by iPad as yeah. well because it was the ePad Transformer. <laughs> Um, number nine, Star Trek fans are not, by definition, mentally impaired. Um, so that was a thing. Um, a trouble with chibbles. Yeah. Uh, number eight, Star Wars versus Star Wars. Uh, the space program, oh, yeah. the Strategic Defense Initiative, uh, named their uh, weapons Star Wars. Mm-hmm. And George Lucas tried to sue and failed. Um, seven, the one that applies to us, uh, you cannot re- realistically depict a celebrity in fiction because uh, EA Games tried that. What? Uh, number, what number are we at? Six. Number six, Superman versus Captain Marvel, uh, in which they sued because they were two alike. Uh, number five, the Batmobile is a fictional character. Uh, number four, another one that applies to us. You have the constitutional right to play video games without being accompanied by an adult. Yes. Number I'm four, not accompanied number, by an adult right now. Yes. Number three, zombies are protected by the First Amendment. Okay. Number two. That's, that's an actual Supreme Court case. Yes. What the hell? Uh, what Irwin versus... Society? It's uh, Irwin versus Tennessee Valley Authority, U.S. District Court, uh, 2013. Number two, Dungeons and Dragons is a security risk. And number one, mutants are not legally human beings. What the this hell? Was, this was Toy Biz Inc. versus the United States. US oh, I Court remember of, that, I think. Yes, uh, U.S. Court of International Trade, 2003. What happened yeah. was. Marvel was getting hit with a, an extra tax because they were their action figures were yep. made in China. I remember that. And were classified as dolls, which at the time had to pay higher taxes. <laughs> so they tried to sue to say that mutants aren't humans, therefore their toys aren't dolls. They're action figures. Yep. And uh, so they pay a lower price. It worked. And apparently... <laughs> the judge went over 60 toys <laughs> to decide this. Wow. So, yeah. Um, and then you can read the full article. I recommend that you do because it's entertaining. Uh, not just for someone who works in the legal profession, but for everyone. Um, and fans are remaking Ocarina of Time in 2D. Yay. Like Link to the Past? Yes. Only Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it says that the project is nowhere near finished, but if you follow the link over at insertcoin2begin.com, you can download a demo and try out the parts that are. So there's that. Sweet. Let's get to the uh, pretzel bit of this uh, jello <laughs> salad of a, of a post. Uh, first up, that angry bird came from the moon. Um, angry Birds creator Rovio has announced an Angry Birds animated movie starring Peter Dinklage, Jason Sudeikis, <laughs> um, Maya Rudolph, Danny McBride, and more due out in 2016, and that's all the details. The one thing that has the, the, that's good for that, it, it has a good cast. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, mean, everybody, a... I mean, everybody but Sword pretty much forgot about Angry Birds. But... <laughs> so, yeah, hey. I mean, it's, it's a really good... <laughs> I'm it's sorry, a great sorry. cast, and the movie should uh, should do well, despite Bobby repeatedly saying that Angry Birds <laughs> is like the worst game ever. It's so, not the worst game ever. But, hey, that's not what you said. I 
did not say that. You put words in my Bobby, mouth. Bobby, Bobby. I did, do you, what? I did do you not. really want me to get started? Did you did you hear me defending Pittsburgh to Eamon last night? Do you really want me to get started on Angry Birds tonight? No. I'm not ready for that kind of a battle. I have to find my moonstone in the walls. I defended Pittsburgh game. again oh, earlier tonight with striking distance. <laughs> I'm in the zone. Striking distance, starring Bruce Willis. <laughs> Chachi, please move on. Please. <laughs> Your voice gets uh, ugly. Next, next on this uh, wonderful journey, uh, the Deuce Destiny Loot Cave, a.k.a. the Cave of Wonders, lives on in a browser game called Interactive Cave Shooter. Um, it's a simple uh, flash game based on the Unity engine where you just point at a cave and shoot while colored orbs come out. For the record, in the 45 seconds I have played this game, I saw more purple drops than I have <laughs> in the 40 plus hours I played the real game. Is this purple. is this is this has so many purple drops that there might be a Supreme Court case over it? No, I I'm sorry, I can't talk tonight. Purple Drops is the new, the uh, name of my mixtape that's coming out this fall. <laughs> purple Drops is the name of my uh, Purple Rain cover band. Purple Drops, Purple Drops. That doesn't work, Sorg. No? It would have to be Prince cover band. Purple Rain Prince cover band. Yes. He, the, he I got confused because he has so many names. <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, we got but not Country not Western Purple Rain. We got... Rap Purple Rain. We have Hip Hop Purple Rain. We'll rap in Hip Hop. Oh yeah, the thing. whole sound. Uh, we've oh. got Ska Purple Rain. I'm waiting for the R and B Purple Rain uh, myself. So if you could drop that joint, that would be great. Um, last but not least, have you ever wondered what it'd be like if two roommates had portal guns? Yes. <laughs> uh, YouTube channel Racka Racka answered that question in this amazing two minute and twenty second long YouTube video, awesome. uh, which leads me to believe that it's a great thing that Sorg and I did not own portal guns. Yeah, um, because at first it would be to hand each other stupid shit that I mean, we you really know, didn't need. Let's be honest. This video is basically us when we lived together, but with portal guns. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, to be honest, there were a lot of times where we would be instant messaging each other on AIM uh, five feet away from each other. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if this happened, it would be uh, a portal next to the desk and a portal next to the refrigerator, <laughs> which is probably a great idea. So I'm going to need a portal gun. What about, it out there. what about a potty portal? A potty portal. No. <laughs> that is such a good idea. You'll never have to leave the couch. <laughs> no, because I, I don't know. The refrigerator is further away from my desk than the bathroom is. So I think I would much rather have the uh, the one next to the refrigerator. Mm. I don't know. I might need more than one. <laughs> I think you got to test drive it both before you make a decision. Yep. Yeah, that's very true. And that is all I have for you this week on this lovely, lovely edition of video game theme things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. net, net. Back to you, buddy.